Welcome to the Jewelry Resellers Podcast, your go-to source for all things shiny, sparkly, and of course, profitable. I'm your host, Desiree, and I'll be your guide on this dazzling journey through the world of reselling jewelry. We'll be diving deep into the art and science of reselling, uncovering valuable tips, insider secrets, and sharing stories from successful jewelry resellers. We'll explore market trends, industry news, and even discuss how to find those hidden gems just waiting to be discovered in thrift stores, estate sales, and beyond. So if you're dreaming of turning your hobby into a hustle, or if you're a seasoned pro looking to stay at the top of your jewelry reselling game, join me each week for insights, stories, and more on the Jewelry Resellers Podcast. Hello and welcome back to another episode. My name is Desiree and today I am, I don't know if I want to say excited, but I am very enthusiastic about the topic for today's show. We're going to be talking about the fastest ways to sell jewelry if you need money right now. And the reason why I'm so enthusiastic about this is because I know I have been in certain situations in my past where I needed money fast. And I have talked to a few people who they know I sell jewelry, they had jewelry they needed to sell for whatever reason, an emergency, a personal situation. You know how life is, right? We all know sometimes things happen and we need to make money very quickly because we just need money. So I'm hoping today's episode is going to give you some ideas and maybe give you some options as it relates to selling your jewelry fast if you need to make money right now. Okay, I this this topic isn't really necessarily reselling business related, but it is selling jewelry related and that is what we talk about here. And so at least if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to make money fast and you do have some jewelry on hand, at least you are aware of some things you could do that could maybe help you in an emergency situation. Or maybe you can pass this information on to somebody else who may be in a an emergency situation and they need to make money quickly. Like I said, this can be very stressful too. I've been there more than once, unfortunately, but I was able to make it through and I did use some of these options that I'm going to talk about with you today. But before we get into that, I do want to remind you, and I would also like to invite you to join the Jewelry Resellers Podcast weekly newsletter because I want to send you something and that is my personal list of the 20 best-selling vintage jewelry brands that I believe every reseller should know. So even if you've been doing this for a while, I still think the list will be helpful for you because maybe you'll learn a couple of new brands that you may not be familiar with. Or maybe when you're outsourcing, you you can have this list on your phone or something like that. And then you can always refer back to it later. So that way, when you see certain names or you see certain brands or certain markings, whatever, you'll say, hey, this is This is a good piece. I should pick this up. All right. So if you're interested in getting a copy of that list, I will send it to you free. As a matter of fact, you can, you'll be able to instantly download that list. All you got to do is head on over to jewelryresellerspodcast.com. That's jewelryresellerspodcast.com. All right, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. Now I did do some research on, on this and I actually found Uh, some interesting information, some things that I didn't even know existed. So I'm really excited to share that with you as well. So let's go ahead and start. So selling jewelry quickly, like I said, especially when we have an immediate need for money, it's going to be something where you're going to have to really focus on what is accessible to you, you know, at, at the time. Because some some things may not be available for everybody everywhere. Okay, so keep that in mind as we're going through this list. So it's going to require you targeting the right avenues where transactions can happen swiftly and efficiently and safely. 
So here are some options to consider. So number one, this one might be some something we've all heard of, and that's pawn shops. You know, pawn shops can offer immediate cash for jewelry. The only thing is you're probably not going to get, well, I shouldn't say probably, you won't get the full value of what your jewelry is worth. That's kind of how these pawn shops work. Now, I live in Las Vegas. Depending on what part of town you're, you're in, there's a pawn shop on almost every corner. So there are no shortage of pawn shops where I live, but I know that's not the case for everybody. But most towns or most big cities do have a pawn shop or two, maybe there's several. So that is one option. If you are in a, in a bind and you need to make some money fast, pawn shops are usually probably the number one option that most people think about. Okay. Now the, the thing about pawn shops is that if you need something fast, that's probably the way to go. You know, sometimes speed is more important than getting the best price, you know, or timing rather. So think about that and really take into consideration what kind of jewelry you have and what kind of money you can get for it. You know, because pawn shops really don't don't take all types of jewelry. Obviously, they're going to do the metals, the precious metals, diamonds, and probably other gemstones as well. So all of those things you want to think about if you have some jewelry that you need to sell fast because you need money fast. All right, number two is local jewelry stores. This is something that I didn't even think about. Now, some local jewelers do buy used jewelry directly from consumers or from customers. And they may offer a better price than pawn shops, especially for high value items, but it's still likely below market value. Okay, so the jewelry store could give you a better price, but it may not be that much better than a pawn shop. Because I know there are some jewelry stores, like let's say you buy a piece of jewelry from a store, maybe a few years later, you want to sell it back, they'll buy it back, but obviously it won't be at the price that they sold it, sold it for. But if you need the money fast, that's another option to think about and to consider as well. Okay, so So far, we've got pawn shops and we've got local jewelry stores. All right, my third option for you, and this probably is no surprise, online marketplaces, platforms like eBay, Facebook Marketplace, maybe even Craigslist can facilitate quick sales. For a fast transaction, you may need to price your item competitively. You may even have to, well, see, depending if you're selling on eBay, you know, eBay may not be super fast, but usually you can get, get your money within a week if you have that much time, because obviously you have to ship the item, the person has to receive it. And then depending on how frequent your payouts are on eBay, you know, if you do daily, weekly, whatever, and then don't forget the fees that are involved with selling on eBay as well. So that's going to kind of lessen the amount of money that you get. And if you're trying to sell it fast, you may need to promote that item if you're selling it on eBay. So that's gonna be an additional fee as well. All right, the thing is, is if you have a really high valuable piece, I don't know if I would feel comfortable selling it on a place like Craigslist. Now, in episode 25, remember I talked about how to avoid getting scammed when selling your jewelry. So if you didn't listen to that episode, make sure you go back and do so if you are thinking about selling your jewelry online in one of these places because you want to be careful and you want to protect yourself and you want to protect your jewelry as well. Okay, because some, well, I shouldn't say some. Well, yes, maybe I should say some. A lot of these scams do happen online in places like this, so you just want to be be safe and you want to make sure you have a secure payment method, all right? With eBay, you'll be good, but if you're going to do Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, 
Um, you probably will have to figure 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 that out somehow if you're going to meet somewhere and the person's going to give you cash or whatever. Okay, so online marketplaces, that could be an option for quick cash when you're trying to sell your jewelry. Number four is gold buyers and scrap metal dealers. Now I have done this. I didn't, I wasn't in a bind. I didn't need money quickly, but I just had, you know how you get silver and gold, old jewelry. It's not really nice to wear and you just want to sell it for scrap. A lot of people do that. A lot of resellers do that too when they have jewelry pieces that uh, they may not be able to sell or maybe they think they can get more for it by scrapping it. So if your jewelry is gold or contains precious metals, selling to gold buyers or scrap metal dealers can be quick money. And the prices are usually based on weight and current metal prices, not on craftsmanship, design, or brand. Okay. Now I remember when I sold some gold a few years back and I sold a gold ring and it had sapphires and diamonds in it. I mean, they weren't huge diamonds. They were like little, it was sapphire and then it had tiny little diamonds around it. And when I took it to the gold place, I asked the guy, I said, well, do you take the stones or do the stones add any additional value? And he told me, no, he said, all they care about is the gold. And I guess they melt it down and they pop the stones out. I don't know how they do it. (laughs) Maybe, you know, and you can enlighten me, but I don't know how that works. But the guy told me that any kind of stones in it do not add, you know, any additional money if you're trying to scrap it. Uh, I think he did say, you know, if the diamonds are, are worth something, they do take the diamonds, but I don't know if that means they take them out and give them to you or if they, they take the diamonds out and they, you know, maybe they sell those separately. I have no idea, but gold buyers, scrap metal dealers are another way to get, get your jewelry sold quickly. If you need fast cash. All right. Number five is consignment shops. Now, consignment shops may not necessarily be the fastest option. However, I know some consignment places will do an up, an upfront payout, you know, kind of like Plato's closet, not Plato's closet, obviously, because they do clothes, but some consignment, the higher end consignment stores will do the same thing. You go in there with your jewelry, they'll say, okay, we'll take it all for however much. And that's it. You don't have to wait for it to sell in order to get paid out. They just pay you upfront and then you get the money that same day that you bring your stuff in. And then obviously at that point they own it and then they will resell those pieces in, in the store. Now I know not every, every town has consignment shops, especially not ones that deal with high-end jewelry. But if you do have that in your area, that's an option to consider as well. Okay, so... Uh, my next, my next place for selling your jewelry to get some fast cash. Number six, uh, this is cash for gold stores. We have those here in Las Vegas too. I don't know if they're everywhere, but I have, I have driven past them and they're similar to pawn shops. These stores can offer immediate cash, but at lower rates, they're convenient for quick sales, but they may not yield the best return. So you can see there's pretty much a pattern and a theme here. If you need money fast, if you're trying to sell your jewelry quickly because you need the, you need the cash, you are probably not going to get the maximum amount of cash that you can get if you sell it a different way. But because we're in a time crunch, you can see that the trade-off is to get less for the jewelry or less amount of money. All right. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Like I said, I've been there more than once and, and I know what that feels like. And sometimes you just need to get the money because you just need the relief of saying, okay, I got the money. Let me, you know, pay the bill, whatever I need to do. Okay. So, you know, you probably can do a search online for cash for gold stores, in your city, your town, whatever, and you probably could find some that way. All right, number seven, 
direct sales to people you know, friends, family, acquaintances. You know, that can be a fast and fair, assuming someone in your network is interested, but that can be a fast and fair way for you to sell some jewelry and make some money. I've never done this probably because number one, I, I don't know if anybody, well, I don't know. I, I just didn't think, didn't think about that option when I was, when I was trying to <laughs> sell my jewelry fast, but you know, you never know, you know, if you put the word out maybe on Facebook or something like that and say, Hey, I'm selling my jewelry. I'm, you know, selling off my collection, whatever. You'd be surprised. Some people may actually be interested. Some people may actually want it. They, they may say, oh, you know, let me see what you got. <laughs> what are you asking for it? And that could be good because these are people you know. So you know, you know, you probably could trust them more than a, than a stranger. At least I hope so. So putting the word out on social media, but again, that can kind of be tricky too, because you may not want everybody to know that you're in a desperate situation. You know, you may not want to have to explain that to other people, you know, cause they may say, well, why are you selling it? <laughs> I guess you could just say, because, you know, I don't need it anymore or, you know, whatever. All right. So you could put the word out to friends and family and see if you can sell the jewelry that way. All right, tip number eight, and this was a new one for me because I didn't know a whole lot about this, so I had to do some research, and this is online jewelry buyers. I didn't even really know this was a thing, but there are reputable online buyers that specialize in purchasing jewelry. Yeah, I had no idea. These platforms often provide a quote after you describe your item, and they may include insured shipping. Transactions can be quick, through verifi oh, oh, or <laughs> verification. Transactions can be quick or verification and uh, shipping. I can't read my notes. Transactions can be quick. Oh, hold on, backtrack. Though verification and shipping is not quick. All right, I probably need to make sure I don't scribble. But let me go because I also typed some notes up here in a doc. And I wanted to, because I was, like I said, I was doing a lot of research on some of these jewelry buyers and I didn't even know that you could actually get loans on your jewelry as well. You can get jewelry equity loans, you know, depending on what kind of jewelry you got. You got diamonds, gold, whatever, Rolex watch. So, I don't know if you want a loan, you know, using your jewelry as the collateral, but that is an option as well. So, like I said, I didn't even know this was a thing. And maybe, maybe you already knew that this is something that people do. But let's say, like I said, maybe you don't, you don't want to sell the, the jewelry. You just want to take a loan out against it. Or you want to do like an equity loan, like I mentioned. That's an option too. And then you just pay back. But then when you pay off the loan, you're, you're able to keep your jewelry piece. And you don't have to worry about actually letting go of it. So that could be helpful too. That could be something that could help you get the money you need for the situation you need. And then pay back the loan and then you keep your jewelry. Now, I've never done this. This is all new to me. Like I said, I didn't even know online jewelry buyers were a thing, but this is a whole, a whole business. And so another option to consider. Another option to consider. You know, and, and that's the thing, because sometimes when you are in such a bind, you feel like you don't have any options. You, you truly do. And sometimes you feel hopeless or you feel lost or you feel overwhelmed or maybe a combination of all those things. And so that's why I wanted to put this information out there because you do have options. Just because you're in a bind doesn't mean you, you don't have options or, or you can't make a choice or you, you can't figure this out. 
Okay, so there are ways for you to get exactly what you need in the timing that you need it. All right, so I just wanted to share that and throw that out there. All right, so I do have some tips on making fast jewelry sales. Oh, you know the other thing, before we get into those tips, this just came to me. Because I have seen a lot of ladies do this, and that is selling your jewelry on social media. Now, I have talked before in prior episodes about doing live sales on certain live selling platforms, but you don't have to only do jewelry sales that way. You can do a live sale on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Um, am I missing any? <laughs> I don't know. But you literally can set up your camera, show your jewelry and say, hey, I'm selling these pieces. If you guys are interested, please send me an email and you can work out the transaction that way. And you don't have to, to go through anybody. You're just going to do that on your own social media page or your own social media profile. I've seen people doing that even when they're not in a bind, when they don't need to make money quickly. That's just how they, they sell their jewelry. So that's an option too. You know, the thing is though, you may need to have a little bit of a following, but not necessarily, not necessarily, because you could also maybe just do a video for your friends and family and say, hey, I'm trying to raise money. This is what I'm selling. If you guys are interested, please email me or please message me so we can work out some type of payment arrangement. Okay, so keep that in mind too. And here's the thing. You know, you don't have to, to share all your business with everybody. But what I have learned is that people who genuinely care about you will want to help you in some way. And maybe they can't buy your jewelry, but maybe they know someone who could be interested. Or maybe they know a place that would, would be interested in buying that type of jewelry. Or maybe they can help in another way. Who knows? But of course, do what you're comfortable with and do what makes sense for you. Okay? All right, let's get into these tips. Uh, number one is to know your item's worth. Have an idea of the value before selling. Use online resources. Get appraisals or consult with jewelers. So you can avoid underselling your jewelry. Now, remember, we talked about if you need to sell quickly, you're probably not going to get the full value of what it's worth. That's because you are on a time crunch. But even still, you should still know exactly what your jewelry pieces are worth. So you know you're not being too far taken to the cleaners or too far taken for a ride. Let's say the piece is worth $1,000, you know, whatever. And if they try to offer you $200, well, you know, it's like, come on, <laughs> you know, it, it's like, well, I understand I'm not going to get $1,000 for it, but I'm definitely not going to only take 200, right? So you want to have that kind of knowledge on your side, in your head, so you know, hey, you know, what's, what's a fair deal and what is not. All right, tip number two, you want to prepare your jewelry in whatever way possible, if you can. That's cleaning and polishing the jewelry. If you have any certificates uh, of authenticity or appraisals or anything like that or authentication forms, whatever, make sure you have that ready because depending on where you're going to sell this, sometimes they may want to see that paperwork, okay? All right, tip number three is to be realistic. Now, this is going to vary from person to person, situation to situation. But understand that having an immediate need for cash often means accepting less than what the item is worth in a retail or slow sale scenario. Okay, so you're not going to get the same price as if someone walked into the jewelry store and bought it or if you had it listed on eBay, but you weren't trying to sell it that day. Okay, so remember, there's a trade-off here, but that's okay because we need the cash. At least that's the whole point of this is, is we need the cash, we need it now, we need it fast, and we're willing 
to compromise on the price a little bit, or maybe a lot of bit, depending on, on what your situation is, in order to get the money we need as quickly as possible, okay? All right, uh, tip number four is to stay safe. And I have done a whole episode, like I mentioned earlier, on how to avoid getting scammed and how to keep your jewelry and you safe when you are selling to individuals. Okay, so make sure that uh, you meet in a public secure place. If you are doing the transaction with someone you don't know, uh, possibly at a bank or a police station, I talked about that in that episode. So if you want to go back and listen to that, that is episode number 25. All right. My last tip here is to consider multiple offers if you have them. You know, if the first offer sounds good, you may say, hey, that's that's perfect. I'll take it. Let's do it. But if you do have time to go to more than one pawn shop, if you do have time to contact more than one online jewelry buyer, you may want to do that. It may make a difference in how much money you get. Because remember, the pawn shop's not going anywhere. You can always go back there the next day, or you can always go back in an hour or two later. All right, so shop around if you have the time. Again, that's if you have the time, but if you need money, you know, right then and there, you may not have the time. You may not. You may have to take the first offer you can get because you need to get the money that quickly. All right. But comparing offers from several sources can ensure that you're getting the best deal available under the current circumstances. All right. So like I said, the recurring theme here is that you're probably not going to get the most money that you possibly could get. But the nice thing is, is that you're going to get money right away. And sometimes that's more important. I've been there. I know what that feels like. And sometimes it, it, it is so stressful that you just, you just want, you just want to get the money that you can get so you can handle the business you need to handle. Okay. So that's really what I want to encourage you with is that you can do this. And, you know, I pray and hope that none of us are ever in this kind of situation, but we understand life happens, things happen. And at least now you're going to be more equipped with some knowledge, some ideas, some options that could make the situation a little bit more bearable or maybe a little bit less stressful. Okay, so if you have anything to add to this, I'd love to know, like I said, because I learned quite a bit doing research for this episode. And I really, like my eyes are open too, because who knows? I mean, who knows? And you can use these options to sell your jewelry, even if you aren't. In, in an emergency situation. You know, like some of these things could work even if you don't, if you don't need the money right away. So just remember the fastest way to sell your jewelry, like we said, might not yield the highest return. So balance urgency against potential earnings when choosing your selling method. Okay, and with that, uh, I'm going to wrap up this episode. Like I said, I hope it was helpful. I'm sending you all the blessings and all of the good energy (laughs) that I can send to you. If you are in one of these situations, because I know how it feels. I know how it feels, and, and I just hope that this... This did give you some help and give you some ideas and some support and resources. So that way you can make the best decision for you when you need to make those decisions. All right. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me in this episode. And don't forget to log on or hop on over to the website that is jewelryresellerspodcast.com. 
So you can join our newsletter and I will send you that list of the 20 best selling vintage jewelry brands that all resellers should know. All right, thanks again. I'll check in with you again really soon.